cut. Hey, you look like Rambo. <laughs> All right, it's a wrap for you. Do so right me for the next one. Anderson. Lala. Yeah. I want to see you briefly when you're done. Okay. okay. Misguided adoration. Come on, let's yeah, go. Yeah, right. Sweet. <laughs> making it so hard for me to say this. I don't know how I'm going to say this. Say it. Say it the best way you can. Um, the Diary is my last movie. No, I'm, I'm not going to die or anything. Um, but there comes a point in a woman's life when she has to decide which is more important, her family or her career. Okay, Lala, give me sexy. What's your biggest fault? Um, I'll say pride. That's not a bad trait. I think I got that from my father because I remember he once trekked all the way from my belly to circle just because he couldn't ask his friends in my <laughs> How's your husband dealing with it? My husband is the most patient man in the world and I can't help but to exploit that. My last question, 
After this, what next? That's the end of the interview. Yes, you should get going. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Josh Marker awaits the feedback from the costume trial and photo shoot. What's the word on that? Tell him nine for the costumes and seven for the shoot. Nine? Yeah. And uh, tell Fish that I need a carte blanche for all my movies. Um, he has already. I know. But you see, I don't want anyone screwing over my favorite Ghanaian designer. <laughs> Noted. Um, what's on after that? 1 p.m. you have a lunch date with your husband. I almost forgot. Um, okay, let's go. Also, there's a matter of a new movie script, but you're not doing it. Sure, I trust your judgment. I'll see you later. Bye. Pick a number, 50 million up. Be careful, don't you drown. What numbers are you thinking of this time? That is the amount of viewers that have seen Lala's last three movies. Last time you said there were 80 million. What happened? Did you kill off a chick of the demography? No. Look, 30 million of those viewers were unverified. But 50 million is still a figure we can work with, man. I say that and listen to my idea, okay? There's a lot of money to be made here. Great. You know what? I have an idea. You're the numbers guy. Why don't you handle it? All I want to do right now is have lunch with my pretty wife. You know what? Maybe one of these days I get to have lunch with you guys. Get a wife. Live the life. Yeah, man. Marriage ain't my thing. What about Kiki up here? I gather she likes you. Look, I like my whiskey old and my women young. Some women are young, but they're not all that well painted. Look, you know how you get those emails with very lovely subject in your inbox? But when you do, it, turn, it turns out to be a virus. Let's just say Kiki is exactly that. <laughs> you have a good lunch, man. Oh, and don't forget to tell a lot of the figures. Some day, my friend, and good time. Yeah, in your dreams. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Stuff. How was yours? Or, you know, figures, maps, Kobe being Kobe, that kind of thing. <laughs> yours sound more boring than mine. Well, you're the one that lives an exciting life. We just sit by and we watch you. Why do you make it sound like it's a crime? Very cool. Honey? Yeah. What's in your mind? I'm bored. I'm tired of movies. I want to do something else. So what do you want to do? I don't know. I'll tell you something.
Look at him. Someone who lost half a million dollars. My own money. See how healthy he's looking? Boss. There might just be a way he can salvage his mess. How do you mean? Lala, the famous movie star. Think of something. Think. Oh. <laughs> I am her biggest fan. Bingo. <laughs> You said you were ready. Uh, I am. Come on. I see you have a name of Bruce. I don't know, but she's beautiful. Um, what's up with that little fat skin outfit? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's so 2000 BC. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> She just yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. If you're okay. I'm fine. I was just catching my breath. Okay. Well, I'm Wendy. I just moved into the estate. I'm Lala. Um, okay. Nice meeting you then. You take care. pregnant. This is not good. I know. Is John aware of this? Not yet, but I'm just waiting for the right time to tell him. Listen, I know a very good doctor and he's very discreet as well. What do you mean? The press won't find out. Oh yeah, it's so relaxing. People are very nice. Okay. All right. It's nice seeing you. Have a good day. For sure. Take care. Right. Bye. Bye.
How could you have let this happen? I didn't let anything happen. I was misled all the way. You are still responsible for it. How much are we talking about? A lot. Look, give me a figure. How much are we talking about? $480,000. What does Lala have to say about this? I don't want her to know about this. That's nonsense. She's your wife. Why don't you write me a note? We keep our businesses separate and that is that. She can afford to help you pay this off. Kobe, I can handle this. I don't want her involved in this. I can handle it. This is very risky, man. Very risky. Very risky. There's no need for it. I mean, there's nothing missing. It's okay. He's been punished enough. I only wanted to bear food. You're going to end up in jail if you continue like this. It's okay. It's okay. Just, just leave him. Yeah. Take this money. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Eh? Oh. Oh. You should be punished. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for helping. Forgive my curiosity, but what is a good-looking guy like you? Who I presume is a banker doing, sitting out here at this time of the day alone. What is a pretty girl like you doing here all by yourself as well? Did you cheat on your wife? No. I just uh, have a lot on my mind and I find this place rather calming. You should talk to your wife, you know? Instead of drowning yourself in beer. Good beer, though. It's not that easy. Well, I'm a good listener. Should. Oh, oh, sorry, I have to be somewhere else. It's really nice meeting you, Miss. Miss James. James. I'm always here at this time of the day. Feel free to stop by anytime. Oh, okay. Maybe you can teach me some kung fu. Brother, <laughs> thank you.
my flowers. The ones you got me? Where's the baby flowers? The ones you left at the door. Talk with you, didn't talk with the wall flowers. The one you left at the door, saying I'm your biggest fan. I'm gonna get it, but most people want to get back to the house, you'll put it out tomorrow. your water hose? Mm -hmm. I'll bring it back in no time. Have you told her yet? Mind your own business, I mean. Don't you think it's too late for that? Well, how do you mean? I mean, I'm neck deep in this stuff with you, man. Tell me something. Is it that you're just too proud to ask her for help? Lala is perfect. If I tell her something like this, she just might leave me. So what you intend to do, just put half a million dollars under the carpet. Man, this shit is bound to hit the fans. When that happens, trust me, I'll find a way to handle it. What about argument stones then? You know these guys are the meanest brothers in this business. I'm still spinning the yarn, you know. By the time they realize, I'll race the capital. That's dangerous, bro. Look, I don't have the money. I'm not a magician. So stop being so negative. Look, the other day I met this chick. Oh, okay. Kobe, if you dare laugh, 
I'll come over there and use this racket on your head. Yo, look, this is serious, serious business. Look, yo, dude, I got money on this, all right? So come on, let's play ball, come on. All right, guys. Don't. Kiki, don't. It could be important. Don't. Hello? Yes, this is she. Yes, this is she. Okay, I'm on my way right now. Thank you. What is it? The movie that I told you about, well, they just called and they would consider that she called her. Is she serious? Sorry, guys. Are you serious? Have fun. What about our bed? I guess we'll do some other time. So, one on one, chicken? <laughs> You can play with my heart if you like. I mean, what's your name? Wendy. Wendy. Hmm. I'm Kobe. And that young man over there, that's John. Hi. And you're going to be partnering with him, right? Okay. And uh, lose him some money for me, all right? Hi, Lala. Uh, hi. You're pretty good at this, huh? You play like a professional. Old habits. You're not bad yourself. So tell me, what is it you guys do? Well, um, my husband and Kobe are geologists, and I'm an actress. Wow, that's great. I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm not a movie buff. Forgive me for not recognizing you. But well, you've got the looks, you know? That's okay, but you have no idea how it feels like to have a normal conversation with someone who doesn't have any idea who you are. Is that tough, yeah? Yeah. I'd like to see your work sometime. Sure. Um, I can actually um, send you some of my recent work. And who knows, you may just convert. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Yeah, I will. I will. Uh, what about you? What do you do? Uh, I'm a writer. I actually have to leave now. I'm helping the youth at the church this afternoon. I'm a motivational speaker too. Oh, okay. Okay, that's that's cool. Good to hear. <laughs> All right. So, tell me, how much did he lose? Oh, don't worry about that. It's a guy's thing. He'll get over it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for the game. All right, uh, Wendy. <laughs> I don't like Wendy's behavior. She shows up everywhere I go, and now this. 
And I don't know if you as well, like creepy, but I'm sure it's harmless. Well, they can come from home. But let's talk about it. We'll move that home. Hmm? What are you talking about? Just come on. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. Hey, I can see you're ready. Hope you slept well. What are you doing here? As good friends, I figure we should do everything together. Come on, let's go. No, I'm not jogging today. I'm not. Why not? Um, I'm not feeling too well. Oh, really? Well, you're already dressed. Um, actually, I'm just trying out a costume for the movie. Um, okay. Is there anything I can get for you? Oh, no, don't worry. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Thank you very much. Well, if you need me, I'm right here. Just call me. Hey! I'm your number one fan. you doing this again? Well, I want you to sneak around her house. She, she spills me for my sleep and running into her has become more deliberate than usual. And it's your turn. Yeah, Inspector Kiki to the rescue. <laughs> little girl oh that's my daughter your daughter yeah casting over you you have a daughter yes oh my gosh she's cute how are you oh sweet i didn't know yeah oh you're yeah. pretty hi <laughs> oh that's nice you didn't tell me <laughs> no, mm. no. okay just take very good care of her okay all right, all right. bye uh, hey, why are you all alone today? Where's your muscle? <laughs> you mean my bodyguard? Well, he had a call that his wife was seriously sick, so he had to leave. Oh, all right. Then drive safely. Oh, okay. thank you. And take very good care of her. I will. Okay, all right. All right, bye. Bye. bye.
happened? What happened? I have a flat tire. Do you have a spare? I have no clues about changing tires. You and me both. Why don't you join me? I'll take you to town. Sure. Why not? Be very careful of those guys in the front. Yes. I, I, I don't know you. You don't know me? You lost half a million dollars of my money and you are here saying you don't know me. You fool! You better stop the crap. I am not a layman. I am not a stupid layman. Who doesn't know anything? Who can easily be deceived? I'm a businessman and I've been in this game for a very long time. I doled out my monies for you to finance your mining project and the money's never returned. Now let's forget about profit. The money's not lost. It's just tied up investment somewhere and I'm sure that the people, the tenure of. Oh, the shut up! In you. Seven days to put this right. Seven days? I need at least 28 days to be able to wager. Seven days. Or else you are dead. But not until you lose everything. And I mean everything you so cherish. Seven days. Wow. How am I going to do this in seven days? How can I do this in seven days? I have a very simple proposal for you. This is a movie script. Get your wife to do it. Why my wife? Why can't you get someone else to do this? <laughs> She is the best. <laughs> I'm her number one fan. <laughs> Saber. No, it's nothing really. I just happen to be there. Um, but what were you doing on the road at the time? Um, actually, I went to deliver some lectures at Ebre and on my way back, some idiot packed in front of me. I had to wait for hours and hours for him to get out of my way. It was annoying. Oh God, God bless this whoever. He was that caused your delay. It's okay, it's okay. You owe me one now. Besides, it was fun saving your life. Good then, thank you.
I need to report a stalker. Madam, what do you say? My neighbor keeps following me around uninvited. You are beautiful. They will follow you around. Just the like one behind you. Uh, husband. Officer, I said I need to report a stalker and you're not taking me serious. What's going on here? Whoa! <laughs> My superstar! What are you doing here? Wow, just like you look on TV. <laughs> you, you don't have a TV at home? You don't even know my superstar? Oh, don't, don't mind this young officer. You can't even recognize her. Don't worry, never mind. We're here to uh, change his black and white TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, John Amond, right? I was bad, okay. Yeah. Uh, what brings you here? Uh, madam, in my capacity as a trained detective, I can tell you for free, uh, this might just be mere coincidence. Detective, five times is more than just a Maybe I have the wrong address. Are you, uh, uh, Miss Wendy James? Who wants to know? I am Detective Quasi Trap. And this is my colleague, Sergeant Okanza. We have a few questions to ask you. Sure, go ahead. Uh, do you know the lady that lives over there? The movie star? Yeah, the movie star has lodged a complaint against you. Are you by any way stalking her? Is that what I get from saving her life? How do you mean? I saw her stranded on a dangerous highway. I rescued her. Is that a crime? <sighs> okay, um, there must be a misunderstanding somewhere. Uh, let me uh, leave you to go back to your sleep. Thank you very much. It's okay. You know these celebrities, they can be sometimes. I totally agree with you. Thank you. Why didn't you arrest her? She's yet to commit a crime, madam. But the triple A people said a hairpin was used to puncture my tire. Did you find any hairpin on her when she rescued you? Anyway, Mrs. Hammond, this is my card. You can reach me anytime. It has my personal number on it. We wish to go now. Madam, serious course, please, madam. Thank you. My own course, my course, I won't watch you. You are so ungrateful. After saving your life, you called the police on me? Over my dead body, would I save your life again? Listen, listen to me. I do not need a friend.
Su pasta no tiene nada. ¿Eh? El beef between them es so massive. Who cares? Just conniving pasta. So you know about this all this while. Come on, man. The more beef they have between them, the easier it is to play the role. Yeah, so I don't have a problem with that. George, you're <laughs> uh, Superstars. Mademoiselle, so, what, what's the, we the set is not open for strangers. You can't stop me. Who are you? Hey. Who the hell are you? Excuse She's me. my friend. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down, okay? Just relax. Um, hi, I'm Josh. I know who you are, director. Uh, but this clueless lump of beef doesn't have the brain to realize that I should be treated with respect. I'm here to see my friend. Lala. Um. Um, uh, madam, I, it appears she's a bit busy now. Perhaps some other time, okay? What? Is that what I get from saving your life? You will see. If I save your life again, let me die. This is no way to treat your fans. No way! Well, that's a passionate fan, you know? Yeah, she is a big fan. Mr. and Mrs. Amon will dig into her background and raise a restraining order against her. But at this point in time, I think it is most necessary for you to get a bodyguard. But she already has a bodyguard. Um, but do you think uh, she's dangerous? We just can't see. She seems rather desperate to get close to you. Getting a bodyguard is just a precautionary measure. Well, if you ask me, uh... Mr. and uh, Mrs. Simon, I think it's very, very important. Uh, we have to leave now. Thank you very much for the Hey, baby. Hello. Nice to see you doing all those boring house chores. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you finally thought about what you're going to do when you finish this movie? I thought you figured it out already. What about another movie? Baby, you know I'm tired of movies. No, but I'm just saying, think about it. If you did something that's truly international, something up that's going to put you on the international map for real, make you an international star. Hmm. You sound like you already have something in mind. Well, you might just... Um... Hold that up. That must be Kiki. Let me just get my phone. I'll be right back. Okay? around. If you don't stop stalking her, we will arrest you. Listen, if you think or believe that I have committed any crime, arrest me. Otherwise, stop this before I press my own harassment charge against you. Have a good day.
That's it. I'm out of here. Lana, where are you going? Where are you going? This is that system on. Somebody got me my beer. Ah, I feel sweet too. I did. And what are you going to do about it, huh? I came to warn you. If I see them anywhere on your blog, magazine, Facebook, Twitter, I will sue you for all your worth. Oh, yeah? Well, we're going to sue you for messing up our shoe. Listen, I have the power to ruin image help in your lives. Don't dare me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My brother is trigger happy with his camera. As for the pictures, we've uploaded it already on our website. Well, then get ready for trouble. By the time I'm done with you, and These are amazing. She totally rocks my designs. Amazing. That's my annoying neighbor who seems to be everywhere I go these days. Why are you smoking? I thought we agreed you quit. I lost one of my design sketches. When you stand out the swimming pool shoot, I left everything in that care. I don't know whether it was stolen, probably at the factory somewhere. But I shielded that design for more eyes. It must be special then. It's the dress. The dress you wore into my 2013 new collection fashion show. Okay, then just make another one. It's a special design, you know, very hard to replicate. But don't worry, Christian and I will put something wonderful together for you. I trust you. <laughs> okay, I gotta go now. Let's go.
Hello, my superstar. Detective, you need to lock up this lunatic. What? She's driving behind my car right now. Okay, where are you now? I'm driving into East Lingon. Drive to West Ghana Link Junction. Okay. My men will take it up from there. All right. Get in the car. So now you become the stalker. Um, I'm just making sure. Trust the police to handle this. I know, but Trap said her lawyer bailed her out. They will handle it, okay? Well, I just need her sorted out before the movie awards. Because I need to have peace. I can't keep constantly looking over my shoulder. Maybe you should just let me go, okay? Christiana, how did you lose the design? Don't worry, Fish. She will have it by morning. We will find it. We're live at the launch of the 2013 edition of the Fashionable Collections, and this month is already colorful, full of glitz and glamour.
there's a huge following on Twitter, Facebook. The fans are simply going crazy. I know, I know, but um, it can be compromised sometimes. It's a small price I have to pay for all the food that I can come out of what I do. Who would you say is on the bottom? You don't need to ask. I know, I know. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Detective Quasi Trap. Uh, where did it happen? Inside, actually. <coughs> One second. Were you in there? Yes. Did you take pictures? Yes. I've been needing your tour. I promise you get it right back, okay? You get it back. Hey, where are you taking it? That's my camera. You can't do this. I've done nothing wrong. There were pictures of you taken in that party. How do you explain that? Listen, I know how that looks like, okay? Don't paint it worse. I watch Criminal Minds too. If I were you, I'd arrest me too. Thank you. Merci, mademoiselle. But isn't that the obvious mistake? You arrest the one who looks most guilty while the mastermind goes scot free, comes back and strike again? Only a few weeks ago, you claimed that you didn't know who Lala Amund was. Well... Well, we found evidence in your house that proved otherwise. You engineered everything from the very start. Moving into the estate, the accidental meetings, everything was masterminded by you. Now look at me, pretty face. You were going to jail for murder. Okay, okay. I will admit to everything I did wrong. I don't want to go to jail for a crime I didn't commit. Please, sit down. Let me explain. Please, this might take a while. Please. I was her biggest fan in Ontario. I even got fellow Africans to start a group on Facebook where we talk everything wrong like that. So, when she lost her sister, I felt her pain. I cried for days. When I recovered, I knew I had to get close to her, so she won't miss her dead sister so much. And I will be the replacement. That's all. Well, I started doing research on her. Her habits, everything online, social gossips, you name it. I can tell you I know everything there is to know about Lalaga. So how did you move into the building opposite her? That was easy. I offered the couple a holiday package in my house in Ontario. They've never been on a vacation before, let alone Canada. So they gave me their house. So apart from uh, watching Criminal Minds, uh, you must also be a relative of uh, Michael Schofield. Now tell me, how did you really do it? I'm a genius. I take my time. The chance meetings? <laughs> Did she just put code to a word he spoke? You should be on stage, you know? We're not talking about me here. The focus is on you. Okay, I couldn't resist your charm and your talent. You've got it in spades. Go on. Okay. So by now you know that the jogging, the restaurants, the tennis courts were all staged. I also arranged a meeting with her husband.
on the flat tire. exactly when the tire would go flat on the loneliest highway and I'd be there to rescue the dancer from distress. All I wanted was to see her every day. I would never hurt her. She's my best friend. You're sick. You are so, so sick. When she announced her retiring, you couldn't deal with that. Huh? You think you're smart? I did some digging into you, Miss Wendell Akosia Freepon. Oh, you surprised? <laughs> you also did this type of thing before in Canada, where you spent some time in a psych ward in Quebec. You surprised? <laughs> but with your little acquired skills from watching Criminal Minds, you ran away. Now let me tell you, what they failed to do in Canada, what we achieved right here, in Ghana, we will cure you. to every one of you for coming on time. But the Ghana police breaking news is every one of you will be detained for questioning. Why? What do you mean? Yeah, she's crazy, but she's innocent. As a matter of fact, she didn't go near the food or drink. Shut up, everybody! Shut up! I am giving you an hour to reconcile with your conscience. When I return, I want the guilty party to step up. Officer, this... Sorry, madam, we do not have bathroom facilities for you until you become a long staying guest. What am I still doing here? Just tell me how you did it. Huh? Beauty sometimes can be so deceptive. Don't waste my time. Tell me, why did you do it? Do what? Poison that Lala Amund. Excuse me? And you know you need to be That is enough reason for you to poison her. We had no reason to harm her. You are my number one suspect. Uh, what? Please, uh, please, uh, I'm not. She's my madam. I can't do that to her. Babe. Please. I can't kill her, please. So what was your role at the birthday party? Um, Lala's husband invited us to her surprise party. Okay. Listen to me, you two. Hate is a strong word. 
I obviously don't care if she lives or dies. But killing her is way out of line. Why did you do it? This is ridiculous. The only thing you did was to keep out your Really? Can you give me an insight into that? Just tell me how you did it. Huh? Is that a joke? Do I look like funny face to you? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Every movie you did with Lala Amont brought you multiple awards. You knew if she retired, you would win no more awards. <laughs> I work for Fish, the designer. You work for Fish and you did not notice anything fishy? If she had retired, you would have become a one-eat wonder. Detective, speak English. Detective, I have no reason to hurt Lala. That's the same Azonto song everyone has been dancing to all day. I love her. I can't hurt her. Blah, 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 blah. As your premier client, a pregnancy was bad news for you. That's not true. That's so not true. then you are going to become big, make big money, big name, and then you'll be able to take care of your very sick mother and young daughter. What do you expect? Um, Wendy, yes, Wendy, Wendy. She lives closer to my madam. She's always harassing my madam and Ruthie Johnson, the actress, she doesn't see eye to eye with my madam at all, but me, I'm, I'm innocent, please. So I did not kill her, period. You knew if she retired, you would have had no income. It is common knowledge that she's my only client, so why would I want to hurt her? You don't get it, do you? You were the first person she told about her pregnancy. And you knew if she started a family, she could retire. And that would have affected your own source of income. So, don't you think that is enough reason for you to keep the goose laying more eggs? Amongst everyone that I've interrogated here today, you seem to be the most devastated. It is obvious that you do know something that I do not know. Why don't you make this easy for me and just talk? Look, I'm just a shark. Oh. Is she your relative? No. But she means the world to me. Another man's wife? Mr. Hammond, why didn't you come clean to me? If your wife retired, we're going to get into a lot of trouble. $480,000 worth of trouble. Of course, we know. How did you know this about me? <laughs> I am Detective Quisi. Trap. I ask the questions and you provide me with the answers. Look at me. Questions? Answers? Are we on the same page? Okay. Tell me. Are you the one responsible for a pregnancy? Look, I've fallen out at the party just like everyone else. Look, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Detective Quincy Trout. 
women on this band. She's good. But now we're not good. I could still do blockbusters. Win awards without her. I put it to you that your obsession with Nala is enough for you to want to terminate her pregnancy. You wished you were her husband! Then you should also know that I never consented. But you will agree with me that $480,000 is enough motivation to keep your wife walking. That's not how it played out. I'm not going to jail. I will not go to jail. It's just a movie. She'll be traveling between Ghana, Sierra Leone, Dubai, and Angola. You know, if you care to know, I've always wanted to do a movie. A movie about a diamond business. We'll provide the stones she be wearing throughout. They won't be checked by custom. I see. You want her to smuggle. She's not going to do it. We know. She's too strong-willed. She's not going to do it. You are the man. Show her who wears your trousers. Listen, you don't understand the enormity of the situation, right? But if you feel you lose everything, everything you so care about, of course you'll save your life for last. Think. Think! What is this big stupid hell of yours? You knew that was a reason she was going to retire in the first place. So, what did you do? <laughs> you slipped something into her drink. Are you mad? When they did all this, in fact, if you had done your job the right way, none of this would have happened. I totally agree with you. We all know that Wendy's... <coughs> and as we speak, she's on her way to Patang. You cannot hold me here. I want to go and be with my wife. She's better off without you. Sit down. I want out of here now. Sit down. Down. Down, Mr. Hammond. If you want me to tell you the truth, you're safer here. Jack and Jackson Titi, the men you owe money, are the most dangerous men in the mining business. As we speak, they are gunning for your life. With your cooperation, we can track them down. They were going to use your wife to smuggle shiny stones and drugs.
Go on. Wendy threatened to shut down our company. This is not over yet. You may go now. scared me back then. For a minute I thought I lost you. I'm not leaving you yet. Lost our baby. She orally ingested a fatal dose of some poison. It's quite difficult to determine the exact nature because. It was a toxic mixture of some sort. So how did she survive it? Well, that is amazing. Well, I'd rather say it is by the special grace of God. You know, when she came up pregnant, I recommended the daily fruit intake. And then she admitted that she's been craving for coconut juice. So I encouraged her to have more of it. I think that actually slow or weaken the poison. Yeah. Could that be the aim of the perpetrator? What? To poison her and make her lose her baby? Yes. Who would want to do such a thing? But is it possible? Well, yes. But uh, it has to be someone who knows about her drinking habits. And also someone who handles chemical compounds often. Yeah. Mm. I see. All right. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Right. Um, detective. Yeah. I heard you arrested a lady. Yeah, we did, uh, but I don't see her as a killer. Mm, she's only a certified lunatic. Certified? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, those are strong and definite words to use, because once you utter them, there is no turning back. In that case, can you recommend a qualified psychiatrist for us? Oh, sure, sure. Um, my colleague in medical school happens to be the best in the country. You just give her a call. Well, yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Asamoah. Asamoah. Yeah. Are you related to the footballer? Asamoah, no. 
Oh. I get to be asked that question a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, trust me, you're also good at scoring medical goals. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you have a great day then. All right. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my chair? Ooh. I want to tell you something about your friend John. Who are you? Say, get out of my office. Tell him what I want. Who he? <laughs> Tell your friend to keep his mouth shut. And time is running out. On our deal. Is she going to be all right? I mean, Lala. Yeah, yeah. You, I, I never figured you for a caring woman. That's funny. Newsflash, I'm human. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> You know you're beautiful when you smile? Oh, yeah? Yeah, you should make that a habit. Well, thank you. <laughs> why, why are you so always uptight? I guess it's because you guys have never noticed me. That's not true. Really? I see you. Yeah, but you love your dear Lala. Not me. Oh, yeah? I thought you didn't even like me. Come on, come on. I like you. I, I so much like you. On the contrary, I thought when I had approached you, you were always looking like um, you were going to grow some claws and bang and pounce on me, you know? So. That's silly. So how come you've never showed it all this while? But I've told you now, so you give me that beautiful. Well, I can't help it now. <laughs> I'm already smiling. I've come to a decision. I can't arrest Jack and Jackson Tete yet. 
Why not? I actually do not have enough to go with. So, what are we going to do now? That's where you come in. I want you to act normal. Pretend like uh, you've agreed to their bidding. Uh, no, they will suspect something. I'm not safe. Onala is definitely not safe. I want you to trust me on this one. We'll keep a close eye on you. If you suspect anything, just call me. Thank you. Thank you. So, that's what you've missed in the last three days you've been in here. Okay. I can't wait to go back home. Ah, I I miss my I would miss you, baby. Well, you are ready to go. <laughs> Um, excuse me. What? Is it the look on that? Detective Trevor, this is urgent. Wendy just escaped from part time. So far, no signs of Wendy yet. We are still searching. We don't even know what our next plans are. To finish off what she started, of course. I can't believe you had her and you let her go on a whim of assumptions. I actually underestimated her. My error. But I won't give her a second chance to come close to your wife. Well, Jan, Lala is very fine. She should be discharged today. Besides, the heavy police presence is making other patients uncomfortable. And we just can't shut the hospital down because of that. I mean, the consequences will be dire. Well, uh, Mr. Hammond, if the doctor says your wife is good enough to go home, so be it. I'll make sure our police are on the guard and I'll personally supervise it. And as for Wendy, trust me, we'll find her. Man, it's good to have you back, man. man. Thanks, it's good man. to have you back. Thanks, man. I heard Titi was here. He was. I stood my ground, man. I looked him in the eye. That's brave, my friend. Man, man, anything for my friend. All right, Lala. I think we have to stop. Yeah. You can relax now. The police are here to keep you safe. I know. That dude outside, he's not smiling at all. Of course he's not. He's not. <laughs> How's Bella, by the way? Ah, she's fine. She's spending some time with Ruthie. Huh? You and Ruthie? Wonders. Oh, she's <laughs> so sweet, okay? Yeah. She's... Excuse me. Hello? Yeah, sure, you can come over. Okay. Alright. Um. That was fish. He's bringing the documents over for me to sign. Yay. Yes, after this, I can rest and relax. Nice. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, yes? I've been thinking about something. What exactly? Christiana Agri, the lady that works for the designer, Fish. Okay. She used to be my senior way back in secondary school. She was very artistic, but wild and violent. She looks different. That is life for you. Uh, change is constant. Let's go, come on.
Are you guys sure you don't want anything to drink? No, I'm good. Straight. I'm good. Thanks. You want anything? No, I'm fine. Thank you. <clears throat> well, after all that, you're very strong, you know? After all that, you're still standing. Ah, uh, well, I have to move on. <laughs> Why is there a policeman outside? Um, just for precaution. Yeah. Okay, you guys, um, just relax. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright. Catch the game. Let me catch the game. So how's your day going? Tense. Uh, have you heard from them yet? They were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago, but I haven't heard from them. I'm really very nervous. Uh, don't be, okay? Just hang in there. Be brave. Thanks, dear. So, what's up at your end? Well, um, Fish just got here with the documents, so by the end of the day, you'll be talking to the proud owner of the best fashion label oh. in West Africa. Congrats, Mary. Thank you. <laughs> um, baby, um, let me call you right back. I just heard a sound downstairs. You never even took notice of me. You 
Detective, when is at the house? I know she's there. I'm sure she's there. Mr. Hammond, can you come down, please? I have a man in there. Will you listen to me? I said she's there. I just called my wife right now. She picked the phone and, 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 and after that I'll be calling back. She's not picking it up. I said I have a man in there. She's there. She's right there. Please go to the house. That's not possible. Turn around now.
Hello? Yes, sir. Why have you been acting up like a one swap dummy? And why have I been a call waiting? Did anyone come to the house? Everything is okay, sir. The place is calm. Did anyone come to the house? Yes, sir. Yes, but the madam let them inside, sir. Okay. But what's going on there now? They seem very, very friendly. My friend, go in there and make sure. Now! The man and the woman are still in there. I said go in there and make sure. Okay, sir. Okay. Hello, madam, is everything okay? Yes, I'm fine. You can go back to your home. Madam, please, I need to make sure. Can you please open the door? Uh, okay, uh, give me a minute. Okay, madam. I heard screams from inside, sir. So I went in. I put that poison in your drink. Yes, I did. Your death! Your death would have cured him of his puppy love and given me a fair chance! Yes! 
So I went in. In your next life, be more careful. And you, if you come back as human, show more gratitude. First, I will blow out your brains, then I will put a bullet in your heart. And then I will kill myself. I shot her. I mistakenly shot her. Superstar? What have you done to all these people? I saved your life again. You see? I am your best friend. I left Canada just to come here and be close to you. And what did you do? You treated me like trash. <laughs> oh, you can't stop destiny, Lala. We are meant to be together.